Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you quickly how to create an image of your Linux system using Clonezilla. And this can be useful if you want to back up a full image of your hard drive with your Linux operating system on it and have it to restore in the event of a hardware failure or if you want to deploy that Linux installation to other systems. Now I recently used this for some public lab machines in a library environment and what I did is I set up my library machines for public use, got everything installed, got everything working the way I wanted it and it's in one of my previous videos I'll link to it in the description. But I did all that, and after I did all that, I used Clonezilla to create an image, which I could then restore onto the machines that had a similar hardware configuration. And it's really saved me a lot of time, because it was eight machines that I had to set up. So in any event, let's get started. First thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go out to Clonezilla.org and you're going to need to download the live CD image and you can either burn this to CD or you can do like I did. I used Rufus on a Windows machine and I created a bootable USB drive. Now in this video I'm going to cover just backing up the system using an image but the system is going to work very similar when you go to restore from an image to a hard drive. So I've already downloaded this, created my USB, and I've got an external hard drive that I'm going to use to store the images. So I've got all that set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break here, I'm going to come back and boot up the Clonezilla image and back up the system to an image. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and boot Clonezilla Live with the default settings. I'm going to go ahead and use English for my language. I'm going to keep the US keyboard layout. I'm going to choose to start Clonezilla. I can enter the shell here if I want to. I don't want to at this point. I'm going to choose my working mode. I'm going to use device image. As it says, this works with disks or partitions using images. I'm going to use a local device. Here you can see you can use an SSH server, a Samba server, an NFS server, a WebDAV server, an S3 server, a Swiss server. We can enter the shell and do it manually, or we can skip all this. I'm going to use a local device, so I'm going to choose this. Here it's going to list our devices. In this case, I'm going to choose SDB. I'm going to make note of that because that's where I'm going to store my images. And you'll see what, why I need that in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control c to exit that window. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and select the image to mount as home slash part image, or part image, however you want to say it. Okay. I'm going to use the root directory, so I'm just going to go ahead and say done. We're going to use beginner mode for this exercise. Okay. We are going to save the disk. We're going to save it as a local image. We're going to choose a name for our image. I'm just going to use the default it's going to ask us what disk do we want to use as the source. 
We have a 137 gigabyte disk here. So we're going to choose that. We're going to skip checking and repairing the source file system. For this exercise, we're not going to check the saved image. However, if you are doing this on a system and you plan to restore the image, I highly recommend you check the image. But for time constraints in this video, we're not going to check the image after we save it. We're not going to encrypt the image. If you want to encrypt it, you can choose that here. Here we're going to choose what's going to happen after the process is completed. We can choose reboot, shutdown, or we can choose what we want to do when everything is finished. I'm just going to say choose reboot, shutdown, etc. when everything is finished. Okay, It's going to ask us do we want to continue? We're going to say Y for yes. And it's going to begin backing up our data. Okay, so our data has been backed up. We're going to say enter to continue. Now we're going to be able to choose what we want to do. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and power off. So that, folks, in a nutshell, is how you create a Clonezilla image of your Linux system. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps other YouTubers find quality content, and we really appreciate it. Click the subscribe button, and then click the bell to get notified whenever new content is added. As always, comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome below, and we thank you very much for watching.